I'm Kelly Norton. I'm your AZ Realty Lady. And today I have you in my backyard. Uh, I want to do a video to help people understand different ways that you can help keep your pets safe out here in the Arizona desert. So uh, there's a couple different things that we're going to talk about. So stay tuned for the video. I'm super excited to kind of share with you what I do to keep my pets safe with all of this desert around and a couple other things that I know other people do as well. Hi, I'm Kelly Norton, your AZ Realty Lady at EXP Realty. Count on me for all things Arizona real estate. So for those of you who don't know me, I'm Kelly Norton. I'm known as the AZ Realty Lady. I'm a Valley native and a real estate agent of over 20 years right here in Phoenix. So as promised, I wanted to go over with you a couple things uh, that you can do to help keep your pets safe. So a lot of people love to back to the desert. I'm one of those people. So I love having the mountain nearby to hike. I love having the desert right here so I can smell the creosote after it rains. I can see the bunnies. I can see nature and I absolutely love it. But when you side to the desert, back to a mountain, there can be some creepy crawlies and some critters that want to visit you. So let me show you what I do to snake proof my yard. Now I actually hire a company to come out and do this. And I recommend that you have a professional do this because I've seen people do it and they don't do it right. And they still end up having problems. So um, you're going to see behind me here, my view fence. And if you look closely, right about here, you can see the top of what looks like chicken wire. Can you kind of see that now? Definitely hear it when the wind goes through it. You can almost not see it. And that's what I love about it. But it goes all the way around and it goes down here as well. So I'm gonna change the view on this so I can kind of see what you're looking at and make sure that you're seeing everything. But, um, so this is kind of like a chicken wire, but it's, it's a little bit thicker. And this company will actually scour your entire fence, all of your gates. They'll make sure that there isn't anything that even a baby snake could get in. Um, so, let me show you this crack here. So you can probably see that right here. Now they make sure on the back side there's no way that anything can get in there. They make sure there's no holes down underneath that something could climb in and crawl through. So uh, this is how I keep snakes out of my yard. Now obviously I have a really large yard. It's uh, just under an acre and now this this was definitely expensive to do but in a normal home this isn't going to break the bank um, in a normal home if you have a, a, a regular gate so they're doing like one gate or maybe an rv gate and um, just like a normal block fence area i, I would imagine that it's going to be under a thousand dollars to do and i know that sounds like a lot but for, for me it is peace of mind and uh, I do not like snakes. And I don't really know a lot of people that want to be surprised by a snake. So, um, so definitely a great thing to do. Now, so that's snake proofing your yard. Now, another thing that you can do is going to be um, to help protect your pets from predators that might fly in, like hawks um, or owls. So if you have little small dogs, you want to listen up to this because the the owls and hawks can definitely pick up a small a small dog so the next thing that i'm going to talk about is actually going to be what uh, you call a, a predator cage uh, or a pet enclosure and this is for little small dogs when they come out their doggy door you don't have to have the concern of a hawk or an owl coming over and grabbing them. Um, so this is where you have, and again, I always recommend you have the professional companies do it. Don't try and do this yourself. Um, but they'll build kind of a cage around the area that you that you want, like where your dog comes.
comes out the doggy door and they can, you know, the owls and the hawks can't get into your pet. So it's great if you have a pet that needs to use the doggy door to go relieve itself. Um, you still want them to be able to go outside. You can do that. I have bigger dogs. My smallest dog is about 27 pounds and um, I, I don't have an enclosure like that, but I will go ahead and include some photos for you uh, to show you that. But uh, a lot of people will have their doggy door in the side yard and then they'll do a pretty decent size enclosure. You can do a small one or a large one. It just depends on what you want to do. Um, if you're concerned about coyotes coming into your yard, you can do the same kind of enclosure for coyotes as well. So two more things that I want to mention to you are really uh, related to snakes again. And, and again, you're only really going to have a major problem with this is if you have a, a yard like mine um, and you don't snake proof it or you're out hiking. So let's say you go out your gate and you're out hiking. Um, there are two more things that you can do to kind of help with snakes. One is going to be called rattlesnake aversion. So uh, that's training that you get for your dogs. And when done right, your dogs can usually identify by sight, smell, or sound, and they will go away from the rattlesnake. So let's say you're not in your backyard or your dog is in your front yard and you're not right with it and it were to come across it. If the training is uh, done right, they should go away from the rattlesnake. All three of my dogs have been trained. I have a recommendation for everything that I talked to you about today. So definitely let me know if you want these numbers because I can certainly uh, help, help you with that referral. Uh, so that's one thing. The other one, and, and talk to your vet about this uh, because I've heard mixed reviews, but the other is there is a rattlesnake vaccination. Now, some people think that, oh, if my dog had the vaccination and it gets, it gets bit by a snake, that it's just, I don't have to take it to the vet, it's gonna be fine. My understanding is that what it does is it actually buys you a little extra time to get to the vet. Because usually if your dog is you know, introduced to a snake, you're usually not uh, close to the vet. You're probably out hiking, you're out somewhere uh, pretty far. Even up in the forest country, they still have rattlesnakes up there. They're just a different type of rattlesnake and most of them are black. Um, so they're just a different snake, but this uh, rattlesnake vaccination will help buy you some time so you can at least get your, your pet to um, the animal hospital, but obviously still take them in and, and get them looked at for sure. Um, so I hope that helps. I mean, there's a, a couple things for you to help protect your pets. And, you know, if you're worried about scorpions in your home with your pets, you can always have um, your home with pest control to keep the crickets down. You can have your home sealed. Uh, so those things definitely do help as well. So, um, but remember in the, in the heat in the summer, that's going to be probably the most dangerous thing for your pet. So um, I always tell people when you're taking your dog on a walk, do it early in the morning, even later in the day, it's still hot on the, on the ground. So um, if you just touch your wrist to the concrete, um, if it's too hot for you touching your wrist there. I think it's too hot for your dog's paws. You can get little booties for your dogs. Um, and also remember your dogs need a ton of water. So if you're taking them hiking, you aren't allowed to take your dog out hiking. It's actually against the law if it's over 100 degrees. So you have to do this in the early morning in the summer. Make sure you have plenty of water for your dogs. And uh, just please be aware that it's, if it's pretty hot out, they're gonna be just as hot as you are and think of all their fur. So let's keep our animals safe. If there's anything I can do to help you, let me know. And again, I'm happy to provide you with the referrals for the uh, contacts of the things that I mentioned to you in this video. And again, I'm Kelly Norton, your AZ Realty Lady, and I hope that you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to the channel and click the bell and I'd be happy to help you with your relocation to or within the Phoenix and surrounding areas. Take care and make it a wonderful day. <laughs> Take care. Bye-bye.